Hey guys, um, you know I got my gaming computer here, and uh, this is the one I do my Zcash mining on that I do my giveaway. But I'm also running my Pivx wallet on it, uh, staking. You can see it there real quick. So um, this uh, yesterday, I was out of state yesterday, and uh, we had some really, really bad uh, storms. You know, I guess a couple semis over here. Uh, on the highway got flipped by the wind being so strong. 90 mile an hour winds at my house yesterday. Unbelievable. I came back and there were some things that actually kind of blew my mind that happened here. I got huge trees down around my property. Anyway, um, so the power went out and I guess it went out several times yesterday. Um, which for my other mining rigs is not a problem. They're, they set the, they're with Linux. It's real super easy. They just boot right back up, start mining again. This one, I don't really have it set up to do that. Um, I'll, I'm actually going to set it up to do that and do remote login. But uh, the thing is, is uh, as far as mining, you know, it'll boot up and start going immediately right away. No problem. But your Pivx wallet ain't going to do that. If it's If it's interrupted and it's not shut down correctly, what happens is is your uh, some files in it get corrupted. And uh, so what will happen is it will say PIVX QT, I think it's QT, uh, has unexpectedly stopped working, and uh, Windows will inform you of uh, uh, a repair when it happens. Well, let me show you what you need to do. I'm, I'm going to show you how, how to fix this problem right now so uh, go to your file explorer open it up first thing we're gonna do we're gonna go to up here to view and we're gonna go over here to options okay and we're gonna change folder and search options then we're gonna go over here to view okay scroll down and it shows show hidden files and folders and drives click on that by default, it won't be clicked on. It'll be the one right above it. Click on it right here, right? Click Apply and OK. Next thing I want you to do, I want you to go to Local Disk C, or it should be C on your computer, okay? Your drive, wherever, uh, all your programs are at, um, Windows and everything. So we're going to click on that. We're going to go over here and go to Users, okay? Click on that. We're going to click the user that your your uh, Pivx wallet is in, right? Then we're going to click on App Data, then Roaming, okay? We're going to come down here to Pivx. And uh, now it's going to show all of these files and folders that you couldn't see before. And here's what you're going to do. And you're going to see that I've... I've changed this one. This one right here used to be just the name of this one right here used to just be blocks. That's it. There was no old be on it. Just blocks. I want you to change that to blocks minus old. Okay. All right. And then click on save. That's all you need to do. Okay. And, and well, while I'm here, I'm going to show you another thing. See this? See that right there? Wallet dot dat. Okay. Not only do you want to make a back your backup of your wallet in the program, but save that file. So make a copy of that one and save it as well. Okay, guys. So that one's a real important file as well. Anyway, so after we've done that, we're gonna close it. You'll restart your Pivx wallet. Okay. And what's going to happen is it's going to start. It'll take a little bit longer to start up. But when it starts, this is what you're going to get. So your wallet's out of sync. See that? And it'll go down here and it says, it's so mine's one year, five weeks behind right now. So you just open it and let it do its thing. So it's, what it's doing is it's rebuilding that file. That's the one that got corrupted and uh, kept the whole wallet from open, opening. It's rebuilding that file, and I know it says zero balance. 
That's not a problem. As it rebuilds that file, it's it's going to find your PIVX on the blockchain, and it'll it'll load it in there. So that's what you do. It may take 24 hours or a day, depends on your internet connection. Just let it sit there and do its thing. When it's all up to sync, you should your PIVX should be back in your wallet, and you should be up and running if everything went well, unless some other stuff's corrupted. And then you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do some other things to get this your wallet back. But for now, I just I wanted to show this one to to help anyone out. Don't freak out. It's okay, you know. Um, you know this is like this is like uh, you know Pivx is so early. It's like beta testing, you know, almost. It's not really beta, but you know, this is early stages. So I mean, there's a few little bugs and stuff, but. Uh, you know our reward for getting in early on this is is going to be huge payouts later because we bought in when it was so cheap. Later down the road, you know when Pivx is, you know, a hundred bucks. I don't see no reason why it couldn't be. Uh, you know you're going to be thinking, man, man, I love it, man. I was buying this stuff back when it was forty cents. So, anyway, I want to also remind everyone. This is my gaming computer. I give away 24 hours of hash power to some lucky person. Uh, mining Zcash. Go over and find my uh, video of my uh, Zcash hash power giveaway. I Every week I do this. Post your Zcash wallet. Maybe you'll get lucky. You guys have a good one. Bye.